All right, we're here with Martin Guptill. Gup, great to see you, mate. Uh, yeah, what's it like to be back in camp? Yeah, it's really good, eh? Um, yeah, it's been a, a couple of months since the, the one, one day team's been together, and uh, no, it's nice to be back with the fellas and, and see a few familiar faces. And how's training been so far, adjusting to the heat? Yeah, it's slightly different to what it's been in England, but uh, no, look, that's, that's what you come here for, and you come a few days early to acclimatise and things like that, but no, it's very hot and sweaty, and you, know, you get some pretty wet gear um, at the end of training. Nice, and um, can you tell us a little bit about your playing stint over in the UK and how it sort of prepared you for over here? Yeah, it was good playing. Um, I think we got, got through nine T20s with a couple of rainouts in England, and it's just nice to be playing that format for a while leading into this T20 series. So, you know, I feel like I'm ready to go, and hopefully I can go out and, and spend a bit of time out there and score a few runs for us. You played in this part of the world before, and what do you know about it? Uh, a few times here, yeah. I, I played, first came here in 2006 at the Under 19 World Cup, so been coming here a few times and um, it's very hot and sweaty and you know completely different to what we face at home but um, you know the wicket up in Palakele is generally all right and um, you know hopefully we can get a couple of big scores on the board. And just talk about the squad uh, you're one of the real senior guys here especially in this one when you look around the, the dressing room. Yeah it makes me feel a bit old to be honest really but uh, no it's, it's, it's nice to have that experience behind me and you know I've been here a few times before so hopefully you know my experiences here in the past can uh, you know contribute to a few, um, few wins for us. Just looking at the T20 team, um, obviously there's a World T20 next year, there's a lot of T20 cricket coming up, it must be pretty exciting that you actually set yourself a, a goal in looking at another World Cup. Yeah, absolutely, I mean, you know, T20 World Cups are always good fun, and you know, with it being in Australia next year, you know, it's, it's completely different um, uh, conditions to what we'll get at home as well, so it's going to be nice to, to start it off, I guess, our preparation here, and you know, playing some uh, trying conditions, and then you know, head home with a, a good five T20 series against um, England to, to lead off the summer. Mm, I've got to ask you, what was it like staying around in England after the World Cup final? Uh, plenty of people, I imagine, coming up to you and wanting to talk about the game. Yeah, there's a fair few. You got a bit of stick from the crowd as well, but uh, you know, I think it was actually everywhere I went. Even home games have got a bit of stick. So, uh, look, it, you know, something that you just got to put up with and, and move on pretty quickly. So, um, you know, I'm here now with the boys, and uh, I'm raring to go. Mm, cool. When you look back at the campaign overall and the the spirit, the what the whole team went through I mean what do you, how do you look how do you view it I suppose I guess you see it was the, sort of the best the worst uh, day of your cricketing career you know the ebbs and flows of the game made it such a good one for the spectators of that just unfortunate that we came out on the other side of it mm, and what about the team in general and the overall campaign leading to a world cup final how much it sort of inspired the nation back home and there's a lot of people who are pretty proud of the team yeah I guess it's pretty similar to the 2015 world cup I mean, we played some amazing cricket at both tournaments and to get uh, to, to both finals and come up a little bit short is, is pretty um, pretty gut wrenching, but um, that's all part of the game. Awesome! I suppose you're looking forward to getting home and playing in front of the fans in, in, the, in the summer as well. Absolutely, mate. It's uh, no better place to play than at home in front of your home crowd. So um, I'm looking forward to getting back there, and uh, hopefully the weather plays ball in uh, early November.